Welcome to this Sunday afternoon edition of the NBA here on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here, joined by our analysts, Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke. Plus, reporting from the sidelines, another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. DA, it's all yours. Thank you very much. Now the calls to shorten the NBA season continue. One NBA president has even suggested a 58-game schedule. And for the playoffs, one and done. He says there's a reason people tune into every football game. The college tournament in 63 games gets more TV money than we do in our entire regular season. The more drama, the more TV ratings, the more money. Kevin? What's not to like? Everything makes sense. Rest the players, more practice time, and all the things you just talked about. Maybe DA less is more. And thanks for the report. Here's the starting group for the Cleveland Cavaliers. The defensive pair in the post, Mobley and Allen. Garland is out there with Mitchell. And it's a Coro in at the three. And for Los Angeles, we've got Davis. Jared Vanderbilt out there with LeBron James. Then it's Russell. And it's Reeves in at the two spot. Greg, right here's a classic NBA question. Who's been the best franchise in league history? Celtics or the Lakers? Come on, Kevin. You are putting me on the spot. But uh, I'd go with the Lakers. More superstars over the years. And I think that 2000... and company that's cooked in my head in my estimation well if you are a point guard like Darius Garland at his size you've got to be able to get into that mid-range bag very well done here's Reeves Davis finds Vanderbilt it's good he makes his first shot of the game and an efficient start here offensively working it inside for the Shoots from 12. Garland, no good. And so James will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. They put up a nice win against Utah last time out. I thought they had a solid game plan coming into that one. Then they made good adjustments along the way. I thought their game plan was really spot on, and we saw that in their scoring more than anything else. Here's Garland following the basket by LeBron James. And Davis sends it back. The incredible width of Davis he uses it to perfection to come up with the block. Second shot opportunity, and they pick up two. Just an innate ability to rebound the basketball and then make the defense pay. Already, I mean, we are seeing the full range of his skill set on display. Get ready for a big time game from this guy. So it's the Cavaliers now after the basket by the Lakers. And here's Mitchell from the arc. Lakers have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Vanderbilt kicks to Russell. First shot, first pass. He's out of the blocks fast. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. And you love seeing that great mobile one drive a second time. And the awareness of his footwork and body on that drive. Just one made field goal in five tries. Not a good start. Vanderbilt the pass to Reeves. And he uses the glass on the lane. He's still very early in the season here, but teams, Greg, beginning to hit their stride and get into a rhythm. And the same can be said for the younger town. The rookies are shaking off those debut jitters and starting to show us what they can really do. Timeout is called first of the game for the Cavaliers. for Los Angeles. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. Davis inside, defended by Allen. 
Here's Reeves, and that one falls coming off of Davis's feet. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. And with the struggles AD has had to stay healthy, and you wonder, though, if the team's going to focus on having him be at his best for that postseason run and, and try to manage the wear and tear. Now here is Davis. Darius Garland missing his last shot. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. And that one drops. And when Davis is on the floor, Greg, he is a force. But how do you keep him healthy into the playoffs? That is the question. I mean, sustaining his output over a full season isn't easy. But Davis has had a bit of bad luck with the injury. So you have to mitigate ways to keep him available. <laughs> Great last season, LeBron missing the playoffs for just the third time in his career. And Kevin, it almost felt surreal to not have him in the playoffs. I mean, this guy's been a fixture in the postseason for almost two decades now. Just another bullet on LeBron's incredible resume. And Cleveland making a change here. Lopez, he's checked in for Allen. Osman comes in for Okoro. Karis LeVert's checked in for Donovan Mitchell. And Ricky Rubio subbed in for Garland. The Lakers on offense. They've outscored him 16 points to two. Not slowing down. And it's sent back by Lopez. You know, it's blocks like that which make Lopez such a factor in the paint. Oh, no, he may have gotten injured right there. He's in a lot of pain. Yeah, it looks like he's in real pain. Definitely a concern right now. Well, these are the moments that can be gut-wrenching for him and his team, right? Anytime you see an injury like this, certainly your heart goes out to him and to his family. Donovan Mitchell's checked in for Ricky Rubio. Los Angeles making a switch here. Bombas checked in. The Cavaliers trail by 12. Mitchell wide open. The Cavaliers with another miss. And it's Davis with the ball for the Lakers. Forty seconds left to play in the first quarter. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. The Cavaliers on offense. Mobley the pass to Mitchell. Back to Mobley. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. Well, that's a beautiful pass by Donovan Mitchell to a ready shooter, and his focus as a distributor has really improved. Here's James. The Cavaliers with the rebound. Well, he's a quality mid-range shooter, but he can't get that one to go. Lavert kicks to Mitchell. Pass to Osman. Back to Mitchell. Jacks up a three. No good on the shot. And a double-digit lead on the scoreboard as we end the first quarter of play. Los Angeles on top, leading by 10. We've got more NBA basketball. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in a second. And taking a look at Los Angeles' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing? Well, the offense is clicking, and they seem to have seized the momentum here early on. Boy, it's been a really pretty thing to watch, executing their game plan to perfection. And so in the game for the Cavaliers, at the guard spots, we'll see Garland and Lavert. Then there's Allen. Then it's Okoro. And it's Osman in at the four. GA, it wasn't long ago that the Cavs were an afterthought in the NBA. Well, not anymore. I mean, Cleveland has a tremendous young roster. They play some of the toughest D in the NBA, and they're only going to get better in the years to come. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. You got for us, GA? Thanks very much. 
Karis LeVert has become one of the game's best slashers. He says, honestly, I just go to the front of the rim and work on different spins. Getting more comfortable with both hands and finishing. Kyrie Irving did that when he was younger, and that's one of the ways he became a great finisher. Kevin, back to you. He is a great finisher. David, thanks. He's studying the greats, and it's paying off. And the Lakers decide to take their first time out here. Big group substitution here for the Lakers. Stolen by Garland. And we're about a minute into the second quarter of play. Pass to Okoro. Inside. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. That's the tenth straight point they've given up in the paint. The drive by LeBron. That one goes in. James has got six. LeBron James just reads the floor so well. If a lane opens, he will exploit it and get to the cup off the drive. Back to Osman. Second quarter, we're a little over a minute and a half in. Here's Allen. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That one on Davis. Nice job drawing the contact on that move. Jared Allen, very difficult to contain because of his length. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. Indoors, hasn't it been fun watching the evolution of Jared Allen? My goodness. It certainly has, Kevin. This guy has proven he is an all-star caliber player. We know he's a double-double machine. He prides himself on hitting the glass. Any center on any team is going to have a problem if he gets near the cup because of his shot-blocking ability. Back to Allen. The pass to Levert. It goes out of bounds. That one off Levert. Lakers leading by nine. Reeves the pass to Russell. Drives to the hoop. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Six points for D'Angelo Russell. Boy, the speed of Russell can take you aback. This guy's so good at using it to take the defense apart on the drive. And now the fast break, LeBron with the ball. And LeBron throws it down. And I think that play sort of sums up what we've seen tonight. Just simply being outplayed both sides of the ball. Smart basketball defensively turning into easy points. This guy just can't find his rhythm. And you look up at the scoreboard, they absolutely need his productivity. Russell from long range. That's his fourth basket of the game and he's only taken four shots off to a good start. Arguably the most dangerous weapon in D'Angelo Russell's arsenal. This guy is a problem for the defense. Timeout called the Cavaliers. So both teams making some changes here. There's Garland. No good, unable to end this run. Los Angeles leading by 16. And evaluating defenders goes well beyond blocks and steals. So Doris, when you're doing a game, what are some of the things that you look for and that teams are looking for? Activity, attention to detail, deflections. Is the person switchable? Can they guard the elite wing scorers? In addition to size and length, do they have lateral quickness? So many things go into quality defense. Los Angeles calls timeout. The Lakers making a switch here.
and the Lakers call time here. Checked in for Vanderbilt. One twenty nine left here in the second. Baseline J on the way, and it hung on the rim but wouldn't fall for him. The Cavaliers trail by fourteen. And Doris looking back at last year, the Cavs far exceeded expectations. They played beyond their years. Such a young team that played with such maturity, and that was coming off some very lean years. To me, their talent is unmistakable. Give credit to the organization for drafting well and making key trades that have really elevated this roster. Mitchell dishes to Garland. A Coro wide open. He fires. Hits the three-point bomb. Okoro's got seven points here in this quarter. That was big because they dug a big hole in the first quarter, but starting to show signs of life. Here's Russell. Oh, yes, he did. Live up and five down for him so far. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Garland the pass to Okoro. He sends it right off the glass. Two second difference between shot clock and game clock. Here's LeBron. That's in there. Davis with the assist. And that's 12 points for LeBron. And making it look easy. LeBron overwhelms the defense inside. And we have to take another glance at that powerful rejection. Quick thinking pays off big. What a block. Mitchell looking it over. From deep. And no good that time. Here's Reeves. And that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. And we've reached halftime in this one. Lakers lead by 15. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much. With J.B. Bickerstaff, Coach, what will be the areas of emphasis on defense in the second half? Well, we got to do a much better job just being physical, fighting them deep. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. Hello, everybody. Maybe a bit of a surprise in this one, but what a fantastic first half we witnessed for the Los Angeles Lakers. It's obvious crashing the boards was a point of emphasis. Their rebounding by committee and their dominance in that category is a key reason for this lead. Their opponent needs to find some Windex because they need to start cleaning the glass. Ooh, Ernie, I see how you did that. And let's focus now on the two opposing. And that about wraps it up. And as we die. 